2008 Articat Thundercat. 1000. Quick review. A little ride. What's this thing like? 2008 Articat brought out the most powerful quad in the world. 951 cc's of V-twin awesomeness. Too much power, they said. No one can handle it. They're gonna die. The people die on these things. They roll over. They're crazy. But this thing is well controlled. It's very well engineered. It's fast. It has a lot of power. It's more torque than it is horsepower. This thing's rated at 65 horsepower. Um, they don't actually list torque for quads for some reason, as if we don't care. But it's important. These things are mid-range punch. I think it's redline. It's like. 6200, 6500, because these things are tuned for mid-range power, which is what you want in a quad, especially a utility quad. Um, CVT, this one actually has a wet clutch, so it has a dry belt, and it has wet clutches inside. Um, they actually went to a dry clutch later, because they put this engine in the uh, side-by-sides to get more power out of it. But uh, it works really well. It allows you to crawl, the engagement's very smooth, and when I've ridden this thing on lots of off-cambers, deep uphills, downhills, you want a real nice crawly clutch. But this thing has power, like if you come to a sudden hill, you want a lot of power to accelerate. Not just to go fast, and it'll go 130 kilometers an hour. I've had this thing go, which is really fast on an ATV. <laughs> like that's a lot. Uh, we got some cool stuff on this thing. This thing has aftermarket uh, 12 inch wheels with these Maxxis tires, then 26 inch. They're like a full lug height, but they're quite light. And lightness really matters on a quad because that rotating mass is very, very noticeable in acceleration. Um, also, they sold this thing as a Mud Pro, so jacked up, same motor, giant tire, suspension. Great if that's what you do. Deadly if you do trail riding with off cambers and hills and stuff. What you want is a lower quad. I had a previous uh, Articat, it was an 05 500, much higher. Same 10 inch suspension, but just way more ground clearance. But it was so tippy. It, better at some things not good for the kind of riding I did when I went to this thing what a difference Articat has tuned this thing with like sport suspension sport dampening it's uh, it came with these awesome um, four speed tires which are 25 inch and they look useless but they're really fast they actually hook up nicely and they have a sporty sidewall so this thing was like a sport quad but in a big UTV thing but it's really good off-road it's so wide and the suspension is so good at tracking over high speed. Uh, it has quite powerful brakes. It has a single lever um, that controls the front two discs and then the rear. And you're like, oh, it'd be nice to have individual, individual brake controls, Alex. It'd be so rad, right? But when you're going steep downhill, you really need both like a hand firmly gripping this and then another one to grab the actual brake. It makes total sense. It's got a foot brake too, which handles the rear. But a combination brake, I legitimately think it works for, for tough terrain. You got your full diff lock. Some things have auto lockers in the front, which is nice. I do like having full manual lock control. When you're in the snow and stuff, it makes a, all the difference from going or not going. Heated grips, rad. I also have a super mega hot heated seat in this thing because uh, I pretty much just drive this in the winter. Uh, comes with four 35 watt headlights, which are okay. I don't condone the use of HIDs in normal cars without projectors because he's blind everyone, but I put HIDs in this thing for the winter. It's really good. Giant winch. Everybody's got to have a rad winch. I went with like the ultimate. It's a four and a half thousand pound side-by-side -side winch from Super Winch. Super Winch makes really nice stuff, all steel gears, and it's got a 75 foot uh, synthetic cable on there aftermarket. It's so long, so you can get out of the worst snow hole or mud hole good winch when you need it it's really important um this motor is really cool it's a super short stroke so like cars normally like your piston will be like 86 millimeter wide 86 millimeter stroke something like that right this thing has like a gigantic piston and a tiny stroke because they wouldn't be able to fit it in this chassis if it was any taller i had to take the motor out to do a head gasket on it and you can see exactly how the whole thing is designed it's made to fit into tight spaces, but man, it makes awesome V-twin noises. This thing has all the stuff, right? It was the top of the line quad. Still is. They still sell this exact model now, probably because it's super rad. I had these uh, racks from my previous quad. They're thicker gauge, and they go much to the side. And they have the big front thing. 
which is cool if you're doing off cambers or stuff, you're brushing trees. These things keep from smashing your body work. This bag is the best too. Man, this thing came with it. I had like a wooden box in the last one. This thing has like a dust shield on it to separate all the stuff. It holds so much. It has an expandable top on it. That burrow bag is the best. Two inch receiver. You can't go wrong. You can put your hitch on, tow a ton of stuff with this thing. It's low range on the CVT. You could pull anything with it. Uh, it's a great machine. I thought, I did a few mods to it too. I opened up the exhaust a bit intake and there's a breather mod you can do for the crankcases. They, they do uh, crankcase ventilation, it's a smaller, so it's all bored out with large hoses and stuff. It made a significant difference. The EFI runs kind of rich on these things, I think to compensate for all situations. So you can smell a little richness coming out of it, but it made a difference. The thing is, it's plenty fast. It's not like blow your mind fast, but it's pretty fast. It just has so much mid-range power. And on the trail, it's actually quite useful. They made this thing to be very useful on the trail. It's well designed and very stable and safe. Yet it still has a ton of ground clearance. Like it has lots and you need to have that. But what you really want is the width and stability. These rims too are plus one. So they're even further out. This thing is so good on off cambers and downhills. It's like a revolution from my old quad. Power you can do, it's nice to have. You don't need it, but stability and stuff, awesome. Sport dampened suspension, rad. Giant winch, gotta have it. This thing's a biznatch. Unfortunately, I have to sell it. And I did all this work to it, made it all perfect. But there it is. Oh, Articat also come with a 24 liter fuel tank. It's quite large. Some quads don't come with many as big. My friend's Polaris has a smaller tank. We've been on some big rides. I mean, you can carry as much fuel as you want. It's like a dirt bike. You can get tanks everywhere if you want. But it is nice to have a larger tank on this thing. Eh, they weigh, I think, 720. I think when you're loaded, it's pretty close to 800 pounds. But this thing moves pretty good off there, even without power steering. I don't think you really need power steering. It doesn't kick that hard. It's pretty stable on the trail. You can drive this thing fast. It's like a rally car. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah, you just need good trails to ride it. Somebody who wants to ride it. Anyways, hope you found this interesting. I got a little test drive schedule. You can just see the acceleration of it. It's really hard to film this thing, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'd fire it up, but the neighbors will all hate me. It's not that loud, but still. Cat Thundercat. The ultimate quad? I don't know. I think so. Although, yeah, there are other quads. But I like this quad. Look at the front of it. So rad. Can't go wrong. All right, let's take this baby for a spin, trying to make everybody hate us. I've already warmed it up a little bit so that we can uh, uh, get on it without worrying about damage. It's a little loud, but not too bad. All right. 